Hello friends, and welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am so glad you're here because today we're planning Thanksgiving. All right, it is time to plan Thanksgiving. I am so excited, Thanksgiving 2021. We have been planning Thanksgivings together for a very long time. And in today's video, we're gonna do some blasts in the past and I'm gonna be sharing old clips from planning Thanksgivings over the years with you guys um, to make it fun and see how I did things then. Is it different from how I do it now? The kids were little, so we'll see. So stick around, we're gonna have fun today. First off, can we just recognize this stinking cute apron? Are you ready? Look at this. I found this at Giggy's in Salt Lake City. Look how beautiful. Okay, fell in love with it, had to bring it home, but then I went on to Apron Diva, my friend uh, Denise Jordan's um, apron website, and she actually has this one on it. I saw it today and I was like, shut up, shut, shut up. If I had known that, I would have bought it from her. So go check out Apron Steva is down below and uh, you can get this apron. And we could be twinners this Thanksgiving, so go check it out. I'll leave it down there for you. One day I'll have aprons, friends. One day I'll have aprons. So we're getting there, we're getting there. We're gonna go over a lot today and I'm excited. I actually reached out to you guys on Instagram and said, do you want a long video? And you said yes, so pop some popcorn. Maybe get your tools out that you have, your planner, and let's plan Thanksgiving together. I'm a creature of habit, and so I always refer to my Thanksgiving binder. I do have a video on how you can create your own. That is below. I used to have Thanksgiving combined with Christmas, and then I separated them. So every recipe that I use for Thanksgiving is in this binder. So in here, I keep a lot of the pages from the past years. Here's 2020s. I do our family Thanksgiving and our Friendsgiving. I keep them in here. There's multiple pages in here so we could look back. Usually the menu is the same. Do you guys usually have the same thing and then you try a new dish? That's how we are. Okay, I have started back in 2018. The other years I was using in the Leafy Treetops planners. So those are in there. 2018 we had Friendsgiving. And so this was the menu for Thanksgiving, uh, Friendsgiving. Okay, I have my menu sheet on the refrigerator. I have this dry erase marker, and I'm just marking off what I have already gotten done. And then when it gets closer, things that I took out, like the shrimp and the chips and crackers and stuff like that. The table is set. I just need to put out the salt and pepper shakers, put butter in the butter dishes, and then the gravy in the gravy boats. And we are good to go. It was so much fun. This could have, no, this this could have been our second Friendsgiving. I might have started Friendsgiving in 2017. In my Thanksgiving section of my planner, I have everything for this Friendsgiving. I'm not hosting Thanksgiving this year. We're gonna be at my mother-in-law's, so I don't need to like use this, this section in depth, um, but tonight I do. So here are some things that I need to be working on today. Okay, table is set we're ready to go i can't wait to try your potatoes look at all the christmas lights and then this is the Thanksgiving for 2018. This was a good one. Stuffing is done, it's on warm, and I have the rest of the pans and bowls out to serve up things in. The buffet table has all the pies that I made and then it'll be filled up even more when Oma gets here. The table is all set, ready to go. I have the rolls in a Ziploc bag and when we're ready, I'll 
dump them out in there. And the gravy boats are just waiting for the gravy. So we are, we're ready. Hello, Tom. Okay, we've got green bean casserole and squash in the oven. Turkey is resting. And we're gonna put those dishes away. We're gonna finish these, start the dishwasher. And we're in a good spot. Potatoes are coming to pressure. Kids are bringing up the food. And we're in a very good spot. Here's the appetizers. Shrimp dip. Deviled eggs. Veggies and ranch, shrimp. We have the brie with the red pepper jelly. jelly. Mm. We have water with lemon and cranberry. Okay, the gravy is all done. We're gonna get it in the gravy boat and Derek is gonna carve the turkey. And then we have a ham that needs to get cut and then we will eat. And then Friendsgiving 2019, this was after we moved. Oh, those were, that was yummy. There were so many good things brought to the table that I didn't have on this menu. So let's go back and see what our guests brought because it was delicious. And Thanksgiving 2019 was at here, my in-laws, so a lot of this stuff was taken care of by family members, and this is what I worked on. And then 2020, last year, um, the menu. So I like to hold on to the menus and see what I had going on and if there was anything different. Um, but it's like a journal and it's so fun to look back on. So like I said, this is where we keep all our recipes. So my mom's rolls, you guys have seen that video. Um, very easy roll recipe, great to freeze. And they are so soft and so addicting. Mmm. <laughs> Pair it with your favorite soup. Mmm. Yummy. This is a make ahead gravy recipe that I received from Joanne Henderson. She mailed it out to me, so thank you. This one is a good one. And I did share this with you guys one year. Easy recipe, delicious. Here is the shrimp dip recipe. This one is so good. It's an appetizer. It's a hit in our home. We have it 
every Thanksgiving. Can't imagine not having it. So good. Um, we have it with chips, like, oh, a nice yummy Lay's potato chip. Or you can have it with crackers. You can have it with celery. It is so good. And it's always best the next day. So give it a shot and let me know what you think. Mmm, heaven. Cranberry salsa is delicious. I actually was introduced to this at my friend Jordan's house and now it's just not the holidays without it. There's my cream cheese getting to room temperature and then when I'm ready to serve it, I'll put the cranberry dip right over that. Everyone loved it. It was a hit. So there's so many pins of this on Pinterest, you guys. The recipe called for cumin and some of the recipes I found didn't and I was so nervous to put the salt and the cumin in but for some reason that combination took the bitterness out I don't know what it was but it just rounded it off beautifully so this was a hit and I'm gonna bag it up because I have a feeling that that is gonna be my lunch tomorrow pumpkin pie dip oh I shared this one with you guys um, a couple years ago this one is delicious I would, oh yeah, definitely highly suggest making this. I served it with graham cracker sticks, like dip it sticks, and some apples. You guys, this is a yummy treat to bring to a party, to have a Thanksgiving, to have on Halloween. You're gonna love it, it's quite addicting. And then a yummy, yummy sparkling cranberry punch. Slow cooker stuffing, this is a good recipe. Some years the slow cooker stuffing turns out and there was one year where it didn't. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. <laughs> bon appetit. And in here I actually have my uh, checklist on how I do things time wise three to four weeks ahead, three weeks, two weeks, all of that. And then I had all my checklists in here uh, and things that I would reference to that I got from a lady shop off of Etsy. And I love it. I'll try to leave this one down below for you guys. But now I'm going to be using today my Thanksgiving planning, all that goodness in my She's in Her Apron 2022 planner. So these are coming out, hold on tight, a video is coming up that this is one of the pretty covers. This is a wheat one, how pretty is that? In the 2022 planners, there is a section for Thanksgiving, Easter, and Christmas to help you plan. So I'm gonna plan out using this so you can get excited, even though you won't be able to use it till next year, I am planning in it. This year for Thanksgiving, Derek and I are hosting Friendsgiving on the 13th. Invitations have already been sent out, so I like to get the guest list ready and invitations, invitations made three to four weeks before. So that's what you could work on right now and send them out within the three to two weeks if your guests already have a heads up. Um, I already sent out the invites through a text. I made it on PicMonkey and then I was able to download it on my computer and then I emailed it to me and then I sent the, the text out and they're gone. They're out there. So it was really fast using PicMonkey creating that and I've done that every year. So I don't physically send out invitations anymore. Everything's through text. So. I even stopped sending invites through emails because not everybody checks their email. So for invitations, maybe think about texting it to them because they're definitely gonna get that. And we are having Thanksgiving here in our home, up in the big part of the home, uh, my in-law's place. Family is coming out for Thanksgiving. This is the year that my sister-in-law is here. It's the full year that family always gets together. So if any of you were here last year's Thanksgiving planning video, you know that we were the only ones here last year. Uh, Callie and Felix will be joining us for Thanksgiving this year. They were with us the night before and the morning of last year. So my daughter is Callie, our oldest, and uh, my son-in-law, Felix. So they will be here and I'm so excited to have Thanksgiving with them. So I'll take you guys along for that and I'll be taking you along for Friendsgiving. All right, we, are, we have invited, I think, four or five couples. I can't remember now. Four or five couples will have plenty of room at our table and I'll be sharing with you the tablescape. So from those old clips, you saw some of the tablescapes that I've done in the past. This year I'm bringing in some oranges with the reds and the greens. 
and I just love how it's turning out. So I set everything up the other day to see if I needed anything else and how I was gonna set it up for Friendsgiving. The tablecloth and the napkins are from Hobby Lobby and the middle greenery is all from Joann's which I got for 70% off this past week. And the centerpiece I just have three candles, a little turkey that I have and a pumpkin and I just kept it simple. The chargers I've had for years I don't know if I got them at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure. The tag on the back says Better Homes, so it could have been Walmart. I still have the tags on some of the greenery, as you can see on the table, but I was just trying to place everything and see how I liked it all. And I love this. I love how simple it is, but elegant. It just felt really good, and Derek liked it too, so that was exciting when the husband likes it. The napkin rings I did get at Hobby Lobby. Um, probably about two years ago. I do need two more of these white plates that I have. Um, I noticed I was short too, so I ran up to my mother-in-law's and borrowed two plates of hers. And I went back to Walmart today and they don't have that style anymore. So maybe in the spring they will. I'll just keep an eye out, but that's okay. Couldn't even tell I had two different plates on the whole table. <laughs> But I loved how it turned out. I love the colors. And I'm excited to have this table for Friendsgiving this year. So let's jump into the planning in the 2022 planner. Again, these will be available to you next week. Okay, so here is the start of the Thanksgiving portion in the planner. The Thanksgiving party planning countdown. We start from three to four weeks before, two weeks before, one week before, week of, day before, and day of. On the right, we have a master to-do list, so any thoughts that you have, things you don't want to forget about, you could jot them down there. Next, we have on the left, Thanksgiving dinner, where we're going to map out our menu, so appetizers, main dish, vegetables, sides, desserts, and drinks, and then a box down below to add anything else you would like. And on the right, we have our grocery list, so you can get ready for Thanksgiving ahead of time. Produce and meat and poultry, deli and the bakery, canned goods, dry goods, baking items and spices, condiments, snacks, dairy, drinks, frozen and miscellaneous, and another little box at the bottom there to help you out. Okay, then we have an assignment list. So if you look down on the left, we have spots for appetizers, a salad, a bread, three main dishes, side dishes, desserts, and beverages and other for you. So on the top, we have a section of what that item is, the recipe source and who's making it. On the right we have our cooking schedule. So there's a spot there for the dish that you're going to be cooking and if you're going to be doing it the week of, the day before, the day of, the cooking method, what cooking and serving dish will it be in, the prep time, baking and cooking time, and cooking temperature. On the left I have the cooking schedule for you. So for the cooking schedule, we have the day before and the day of, and the start time is 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. on both. So it's all mapped out. You can schedule this in any way that you like, but it's just an idea to help you be able to stay on track of it all. So three to four weeks before, that's about where we're at right now when you're seeing this. I have a lot to do to get ready for Friendsgiving and Thanksgiving. So plan your menu. Well, I know what I am doing for Thanksgiving this year. I think Derek's in charge of one turkey and then I am making sweet potatoes, deviled eggs. You're also doing stuffing, and Kimmy. Stuffing. I think that's it. Because we're doing a, a few families coming, so there's a lot of helping hands. All right, so for Friendsgiving, I'm still waiting to hear back on the guests on what they are bringing for side dishes. And from that, we're going to make a grocery list. First, I'm going to see what I already have on hand and then fill in the blanks. So I'm going to jump into my pantry and my food storage room, and I'm going to shop my shelves first. Okay, we are in my food storage room. It's going to be loud because the fridge and freezer are going. This room needs some TLC, and you will see that, uh, I think, next week, so stay tuned. I'm working on a lot, and I'll be taking you along with me. All right, so depending on what our guests are bringing, I could come here to shop my shelves for the side dishes. Now, we are doing the turkey for sure, and I'm pretty sure I'll end up doing the mashed potatoes as well. All right, but if not... And if I decide that we are going to make green bean casserole, I already have 
green beans here this is French style or the cut green beans and more likely we will do the cut green beans so I have plenty of green beans canned green beans I do have a recipe where I could do fresh green beans and make my own cream sauce and add fresh mushrooms but if not I already have it here right and chop your shelves first and save a buck so I have those all right so here is my cream of soup section here in the back I have two cream of mushrooms and a ton more in uh, Shaylee's closet that I've been storing and been bringing in so I have the cream soup for it and of course I have milk already we always have milk I mean that is a given and then I do have some fried crispy onions for it as well it's back here so this if you remember I grabbed at Sam's Club on one of my hauls so we have that so I have the whole I have the whole recipe here don't need to go out for any of that now I am doing stuffing and I could try the Trader Joe's stuffing that I bought but what if we don't like it I don't want to make it that day and be like crap so I have um, some herb stuffing pouches that I already have here and I have two Two boxes of chicken stuffing mix in the back more than likely I will be using these two bags here but if not I do have one last box of mrs. Coberson's cube stuffing and more than likely we will use that as well so we are good with stuffing I don't need to worry about that side dish as well um, I was just at Walmart to no I was just at Macy's today and I picked up another bag of potatoes because I'm making clam chowder for a family dinner tomorrow and so I have potatoes um, our friends giving us at the end of the week so I'm not worried about that I have plenty of that I will be making shrimp dip and I always have our go-to recipes I always have things ready for it <laughs> so I already have the cans of shrimp to do shrimp dip twice if I wanted to so I have that and then it takes mayo so on my list I will put green onions and all of that now you're gonna see my grocery list and the full menu not in this video you're gonna see that for Friendsgiving so stay tuned there'll be a part two to the menu planning so stay tuned all right uh, for the pies I do have in here the Libby's canned pumpkin right here shoved in here um, I have three cans so I have that pumpkin pie and unless we don't get the Costco pumpkin pie it's just so good but I will be taking you on a video where I'm going to be making and freezing pumpkin pies so stay tuned for that depending on how I do my chocolate cream pie I do have some um, chocolate jello here but we'll see I'm still debating and then if I decide to do cheesecake for uh, the holidays I actually have cherry filling here and blueberry that we could put on top of that I have plenty of pumpkin I'm not buying any more pumpkin there's pumpkin in here I have many marshmallows so actually two bags back there for yams and things like that so if I decide not to do sweet potatoes fresh sweet potatoes uh, in a pinch I have the the canned sweet potatoes and I also bought I think it's in the pantry um, the Smith's the Kroger brand of sweet potatoes to try as well and see what we like that is gonna be on another video for you guys coming up but if we couldn't get our hands on any fresh sweet potatoes we have this option with the mini marshmallows that I also have on my shelf also for the jello I have some sugar-free raspberry jello that I will need for our raspberry jello salad or we usually sometimes will also do strawberry jello salad and I have done in the past blueberry jello salad with the I have a recipe down below for you guys and you put pretzels at the bottom I've also done it with the blueberry pie filling it is so good if you try it with blueberry in fact I might actually do that this year because we haven't had it in years so I already have the can and that will probably be a possibility either for this Thanksgiving or this holiday season it's delicious so I have a lot going on my shelves there's not going to be a whole lot that I'm going to be purchasing um, probably not even for the desserts I have lots of baking goods things for pumpkin bread cornbread 
all of that. And I do have my chocolate chips if I'm going to be doing any um, baking. I have tons of brown sugar and powdered sugar. I'm ready to go. So you're going to see more of shopping my shelves for Thanksgiving and Friendsgiving. So stay tuned for the Friendsgiving video. It's going to be detailed in the shopping and grocery hauls and all of that. So we will continue the menu planning in that video. Now I know a lot of people don't celebrate Thanksgiving here in America. We do and in Canada they do in October. Our Thanksgiving is always the fourth Thursday of the month. So I know a lot of you are just preparing for your holiday meals for Christmas and I hope that this will help you. Also in the 2022 planner I have a section for Christmas for you. All right, let's go over our kitchen inventory. I wanna make sure that I have everything I need and enough casserole dishes, pie pans, utensils, roasters, anything that I need ready for the big day. There was one year we didn't have a thermometer, um, a turkey baster, and it made things a little, eh, <laughs> a little, a little harder, but not too bad. So I just wanna make sure that I am good, even on silverware. And we're low on forks, so I went to Walmart today and also grabbed some more forks. I think in this house, even though I don't have little kids anymore, I think on accident forks get tossed out. Let me share with you what else I got at Walmart today to help with our kitchen inventory. Okay, at Walmart I picked up this Aroma 18 quart roasting oven. It perfectly fits a 24 pound turkey, it says. This can roast, bake, and cook, prepare large cuts of meat, roast, vegetables, simmer, stews and more and i noticed on the box it has like keep warm and even a defrost setting so i can't wait to read more on the settings but guess how much this was it was on clearance for 20 bucks <laughs> we can have a turkey or a ham in there during the holidays or any time of the year and still have room in our oven so excited about this i've been wanting one of these for a long time okay here are some of the things that i snagged also snagged at walmart so I needed some pie pans to freeze some pies in. The ones that I'm gonna bake the day before Thanksgiving, I'm gonna use in my nice pie pans, my glass ones. So these are the Easy Foil two pie pans with lids. So it fits a 10 inch pie. So I have four of these. And then these smaller ones here, there are three in this one. I grabbed a pack, two packages of plates for pies it says pass the pie and these were there's like these were $1.98 and there is 10 in a package so I have 20 for pie night some more forks and knives these knives though have more um, like more than just like a butter I know these aren't considered butter knives they're considered a uh, dinner knife but there's more of an edge here so this will be perfect for Thanksgiving and the holidays and then I grabbed more forks. Um, and I like just how sleek and smooth they are, so I snagged those. Two more spatulas. My other ones were just dying. They were horrible and needed to get rid of. So two of those. This is a Pioneer Woman olive wood spoon. I needed a thinner one. I wish they had some different options in Pioneer Woman, but they didn't. Uh, just because I... I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a wooden spoon, but this might hold up beautifully. So, and then two packages of the serving sets um, for uh, salads or whatever during the holidays for serving up. Um, you can keep them and wash them and use them a couple of times, or just use them and chuck them. But I, I try to get a few uses out of it. And then some pla plastic cutlery. I love this color and it has forks, knives, and spoons in there as well. I think I am good for any other needs for Thanksgiving and Friendsgiving. In the summer, I picked up some new serving trays. These are beautiful glass ones. These have, a, a, they're pretty deep for a serving tray. So I grabbed two of those and this rectangle one. And then this here are round like mini taster bowls so there's four so i wanted to have them out to put on our grazing boards our charcuterie boards for any dipping sauces and things like that so i have that here but um i have i just needed some more that weren't plastic that were sturdy and so these these were a really good price i can't remember now but i was i was like ooh, okay you're coming home with me and if i didn't say it i got these from at home 
probably in July, it was either July or August. So I'm excited to use these this holiday season and I'm glad I have um, all matching and um, that's something I didn't have, had like mixed pieces that were plastic and so I'm glad to have something sturdy and just beautiful and sleek. So that is new that we will use this holiday season. Okay, now I'm gonna pull out what I do have for Thanksgiving and Friendsgiving to use for the meals and I'm definitely gonna put post-it notes on them so I know what I'm using. Okay, I have all of the pans that I'm needing to be putting my food in marked and labeled, ready to go. So I know this is for the sweet potatoes, this one's for the green bean casserole, this one's for the stuffing, the deviled eggs, two pumpkin pies, the shrimp dip, and the drink we're gonna be making. So. No confusion, I know what's going in what, they're ready to go. Two weeks before Thanksgiving or your holiday meal, you're gonna map out the best places to buy food. And I did check a couple of places for turkeys. So let me share with you what I saw at Smith's last night and what I saw today at Walmart for Thanksgiving turkeys. All right, I'm at Smith's and I'm checking out all the turkeys that they got in. And they have these um, Simple Truth whole young turkeys for $1.99 a pound. And then they have the Kroger Young Turkeys, big, I'm seeing some big guys in here. And then down here they have some smaller ones. And these are going for $1.59 a pound. And then they have Butterball Turkeys for $1.99 a pound. And last year I actually saw them for 99 cents a pound but I highly doubt we're gonna see that this year. For $2.99 a pound, they actually have a fully cooked uh, turkey breast from Butterball as well. And then by Honeysuckle, they have frozen young turkey breasts as well, and they are $2.49 a pound. And for $10.99, you can get a boneless turkey breast by Jenny O, an oven ready turkey breast for you. And then they also have from Jenny O a whole turkey. And these are going for $22.99. And then they have turkey parts, so you can get smoked, already cooked smoked um, turkey wings or drumsticks. Okay, here at Walmart, this is the cheapest I've seen on the Jenny O turkeys. They are 87 cents a pound. They have some big sizes I'm seeing, a few small sizes. This is a good sized turkey. So, I have gotten Jenny O before in the past and they've done really well. Um, so, this bird here is 19 pounds, so this is gonna cost $17. Just $17 for this bird. This is awesome. So, okay, Walmart is shocking me on that. There we go. And I think that is the cheapest I'm gonna find it around here. So, I'm not a big fan of the Butterball turkeys, so I would definitely get one of these for 87 cents a pound, for sure. There you have it, they're doing it again, 98 cents a pound. This is what they did last year. So even with inflation and everything, you're doing good on your Thanksgiving turkeys, at least here in Utah. So this 13 pound bird is gonna cost $13.49. You guys, that is great. Walmart also has the Jenny O cooked turkey, oven ready, in a bag for 308, no, let's see, $1.96 per pound. So this bird is 2503. So they have that as well. All right, they also have these all natural duck. If you're into duck, oh my goodness, there you go. But if there's only two of you, and you don't want to cook up a lot, Cornish hens are great. Get your own little Cornish hen. So if you don't want to go into the stores to check out the prices, go online. I can go online at my local Walmart and see the prices and a couple of my other stores. Like I was in Smith's last night, so I was walking around while we were waiting for a prescription, gathering information, taking pictures, seeing the prices of things, but I'm always keeping an eye around this time. And unfortunately, prices have gone up. Price has gone up on evaporated milk. But right now, our turkeys are priced good. But I was talking to a friend who lives in Texas, and their turkeys are really expensive. I would love to know from you, what have you seen in prices that have gone up in your area? Are you seeing it in canned goods, vegetables, 
produce, um, meats, like your Thanksgiving turkey and ham. Are you, I would love to know, what are you seeing? Even in, not in America, all of you everywhere, are you seeing price increases and what are you seeing them in? And which ones are the worst for you that you're noticing right now? For the part on trying new recipes, I highly recommend that. There was one year I tried out Rachel Ray's apple onion stuffing. It is delicious. It is so, so good. But the first time I ever made it was on Thanksgiving. Now, in her recipe, it calls for two tablespoons of poultry seasoning. You guys, way too much. Way, way too much. I cut that by a lot. I think I up to two teaspoons. That was it. So it was pretty bad, I won't lie. So definitely try out new recipes beforehand. This year I'm doing the same thing. We are trying out a lot of recipes and of course I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Okay, so brine your turkey. Some people brine it, some people don't. Um, I noticed that Walmart had a rub brine that looked really, really good. Let me share it with you. All right, this is something I new to me from Kinder's. I like their seasoning, it is good. Their Butcher's Brine and Rub Kit includes Buttery Poultry Rub, Butcher's Master Brine, Heavy Duty Brine Bag, and Twist Tie. Very cool. So, if you have tried this, will you let us know in the comments how it worked for you? And it says it is gluten free. So, there you go. This is our turkey brine that we got from Costco. So, we have a, this half of this it does one turkey. So, this um, jar can get you two turkeys so we don't need to buy any turkey brine this year um, this will do it for the one that we're gonna do on Thanksgiving Day okay the day before you can make your pies I've done this for years the day before Thanksgiving I'm making pies and I'm on the phone or FaceTiming my mom and we're baking together hello hello what are you doing are you done cooking yeah, I did the, well, of course, the rose of pies, Ashley Jitter apple pie. What time are you eating at? We're shooting for two. Yeah, we're, sh we're shooting for one. Put the sweet potatoes at the ends. How much water do you put at the bottom of the pan? I um, I'm just putting maybe like a half a cup. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, you get some sleep. I'm going to finish here, edit, and go to bed. Alrighty. Okay. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. Oh, she's so funny. If my pies are freezable, I get those done before. And my freezable pies are apple pie, blueberry pie, and pumpkin pie. If I make a peach pie, that could be frozen before the big day too. But the day before Thanksgiving, I will make the fresher pies like banana cream pie, chocolate pie, any cheesecakes, um, lemon pies, things like that the day before. So stay tuned, there is a video coming with me making all the fun things for Thanksgiving and you will see that. But if you would like to see the video that I did just a few weeks back on making the apple crisps and apple pies, I will leave that down below for you because I froze the apple pies in the pie pan so they're nice and round. So all I have to do is put the filling in the crust, put the topping on and get it in the oven. I will be making the rolls the night before as well. And there are times where I'd like to actually make some of the casseroles the night before, put them in the fridge, because all I have to do is heat them through on Thanksgiving Day. They cook a little quicker and they set up better, like green bean casserole. It tastes better to me and the consistency is better the next day. So it's thickened up. So if you, you can go ahead and make some of those as well. You can also prep some of your vegetables and things the night before so you're ready to go the day of. Right, I have so much fun content coming up for you guys. I actually am sharing a video with you. If you can buy right now with the way prices are, a full Thanksgiving meal at Walmart for $100 or less, so stay tuned. I'm also gonna be sharing with you a video on is buying a full Thanksgiving dinner at Costco worth it? So stay tuned for that one as well. And there is a holiday cook and bake with me where I am going to be making some of the pies and some recipes that we want to try beforehand. And we're going to test those Trader Joe's stuffings that we bought and see if they're any good. I will also be sharing some Thanksgiving leftover recipes with you. And of course, taking you along on our Friendsgiving. Our Friendsgiving is on Saturday and that video will be coming up for you. Lots of cooking and prep. I know this video was long, but I really hope it got you excited to plan your Thanksgiving or your next holiday meal. 
any tips or tricks for me please leave them down below i love seeing and hearing how you guys are all doing this it's so fun to share what are some of your traditions what side dishes or desserts are a must for the holiday season that you, you wouldn't be the same if you didn't have them i would love to know all right friends thank you so much for joining me and we will see you soon bye ew Pull the turkey's out. getting burned the turkey's getting jonah deliver that baby deliver it jonah you oh. got it deliver oh. the baby Pull the baby out, Jonah. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a boy. Oh. I went to check on the pies. They spilled in my clean oven. Look what you did. Happy Thanksgiving.